and a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. Supreme Court abortions. Legalized abortions. Abortions. This is why abortion is still legal. Secularism. Secular humanism is the popular religion of our day. It's what's taught in our schools and propagated in the media. It says that man is the measure of all things. The universe is closed. There's no God, only time plus matter plus chance. Man determines his own reality, future, and ethics without reference to God. In a chaotic, ever-changing universe, science and reason rule the day. Few can doubt the influence of this ideology on the culture over the past hundred years. It's captured academia, politics, and even our pulpits. Autonomy is its chief virtue. Like the serpent in the garden, its central tenet is, you decide good and evil for yourself. How does this relate to the issue of abortion? Well, Christians are pro-life. Being for life is the scriptural position. The Bible alone provides the foundation for why life is valuable and why it must be protected. Human beings are made in God's image. He is the reference point. Without the triune God, there is no appeal to justice, only nature and nature's institutions. If the material world is all there is, human beings have nothing outside of them to ground their worth and dignity. Protecting the innocent is not a value that was given to us by secularism or atheism. We know this, but the problem is that many believers have adopted worldly doctrines and methodologies founded on man's wisdom rather than the truth of scripture when it comes to this area. Many hold to a secular pro-life doctrine masquerading around in Christian clothes and Christian terminology. This is why they inconsistently apply God's word to this issue. The pro-life industry has an unbiblical view of the mom's natural condition. They say she's basically good. God says she's a rebel and hostile to his law. They say her problem is the circumstance outside of her. God says that the problem is within her. They say she's a victim that has immunity. God says she's guilty and must be held accountable. They say information and education are the answers. But God says that the gospel and a new heart are the answer. They say we need to protect babies by doing what works. God says to protect babies by doing what's right. They say we need to write laws that change based on the situation. God says you shall not murder ever. They say the Supreme Court has spoken and must be obeyed no matter what. But God says we must obey him rather than men when we're commanded to do evil. Therefore, if abortion is to end, Christians must abandon secular humanism. Our message is Christ and Christ alone. If we teach a different message than Christ, we commit eternal murder. And if we link arms with others in ministry that have a different message than Christ, whether secular or otherwise, we become accomplices in the murder of souls. There is no neutrality. Christ is Lord over how we fight and end abortion. Abortion is wrong because God says it is. His word is the answer. As Christians, we must return to it.